Our trusty kitchen scales by solder has started to fail. It seems to be just measuring random weights and even when there's nothing on it, you can see the weight figure fluctuating. So I thought I'd open it up and see what's inside. It's quite a few years old. Now it does say, interestingly, it's got a 15 year guarantee. I don't think it's 15 years old. I'll have to have a look. But if it is, then maybe we can get another one. But here it is. It's quite a nice unit. Um, doesn't really tell me dates on there, so I don't know. But I might have to inquire about that. So let's switch it on. Now, it seems to be behaving okay, but we have tried different batteries. As you can see, it's actually kind of measuring something. And it has counted up. So let's try zero again. Well, there we go. So we're zeroed out. And uh, it probably will start to count up, which is really strange because you can't really rely on it now. Now, this is on uh, fluid ounces. So if we just go to grams, which is something we use quite a lot of, and you can see it's already counted up two. And there we go, three. Uh, just seems to be doing that for um, now it's not like it's stuck down or anything but as you can see something weird has happened now it's measuring 18 grams I mean it still seems to register when you press but uh, if we zero there we go I've got zero back again and it starts counting up obviously I've done a battery swap using known good batteries but something is, something's happened to this, but I'm going to open it up anyway, and we'll see uh, see what's going on with this. It'll be interesting to see inside. There's the battery. It's a classic CR2032 cell. The stalwart of small device batteries. Uh, I presume we'll have to rip off the rubber feet and see where the screws are, because they're probably hidden under here. And we'll check out the circuit board and check out how it weighs things and you can see it's all over the place isn't it just counting up so yeah can't be relied on which is a shame because it has been really good all right well I haven't found any screws under these little badges so they're just blanking plates so I have found a screw under under here so this might be the central one oh that is tight it's a crosshead, but wowzers. Ugh, even with fisting, that is not turning. So I'm gonna need a bigger tool. Be right back. Okay, got a big bertha. Let's see if this will work. Yeah, a bit of torque. Here it comes. That's a monster screw. Yeah, that's a beastie, isn't it? So, okay. Does this reveal? Anything at all? So obviously I'm not gonna return this because that's probably a sure way to void the warranty by opening it. Uh, right, so it's still resisting a little bit. What's going on? Okay, there is one more screw, which somehow I missed. Here it is. So for some weird reason, they have two screws here. And now look, it comes off. Uh-huh. Right, so on the bottom, we have this back plate. I guess that's just designed to spread the weight and here is the main mechanism so that is our weighing system here so this must detect very very slight changes in weight let's have a look Yes, it's gone a bit haywire. Okay. 
Right, so if I press, yeah, if I press that bar, that's going up and down. So this is the bar I'm pressing here. And that, even if I press it really gently, is detecting changes. So press. And in fact, even if I just rest it, my finger on there on the back. So that's super sensitive. So this is the the system here. This little device here. We have a circuit board, there's the battery of course, date is 2016, so now we're going to go for a super small screwdriver, let's get all this out, we can have a good look, in fact we'll do all of these, they're tight, let's try this one, there we go, I'll get the home mechanism out. Have a good little nose. As to why it's failed, nothing obvious. It hasn't had any liquid come in. Um, there's no dirt in here. I think it's just over time become faulty, which is a shame. Ah, here's our plate, so nothing too crazy, it's just a really secure plate. Let's take this out as well. So there's the more screws here, which are these monster screws. Probably lose the gloves now. Definitely shored into place with these screws. Well, there's our other plate. So it's a curious kind of device. It's got holes through it. I'm not sure what that's for. Is it to save weight? But there's obviously some electrodes going in there. And if we look at here, if we zero this, gently press this. This is weird. So if I gently press, it's detecting weight. But there's nothing that's moving on here. So if I put something on, nothing. But if I press that, oh, it's in here. Is it in here, this piece? something inside this silicone. What a weird device. So if we squeeze with the fingers, <laughs> oh, is that four kilos with the fingers? <laughs> some good values there. This could be a sport, couldn't it? <clears throat> well, that's that's odd. So I'm going to have to peel this off and have a look at that. Uh, before we do this, let's get the circuit board out. a lot of screws in here to hold this down. Not sure why so many. Some are super easy and some are nightmares. Like this one here is a nightmare. Let's have a look. Does it all come in one year? So, as expected, there's our main board. There's our two buttons. 
chip under there hidden away so yeah the amount of screws were needed to interface the display with that of course so had to be super tight yeah it's got to be nice and even and tight on there so not working too well kind of roughly works and there's our battery module that's quite useful to keep so not too much on there so really it's just this device isn't it how peculiar I guess it's long so that it can uh, detect weight through the entire disc which of course is here there's nothing really interesting about that so they have to have designed it so that it distributes the weight evenly across here Let's, uh, let's have a look inside this bit. It's well siliconed in. Now we can see there's a little interface there. There we go, look. Hmm. So the wires turn very thin around here. Wowzers, look at this. I think it's all spiraled around here. I guess it's going to be the same on this side. Yep. There's a wire, or oh, multiple wires. It's all split. Once it goes into here, it seems to go into three wires. So this must be our weight detecting system here. Yeah, so we've got the wires, looks like, what have we got in here? Four? I think that's four wires. Yeah, so four wires come into this tiny board, and that splits them then into these really tiny thin wires, thin gauge, either side of this device. And that has some sort of, almost like a, board here, circuit board. The wires go either side of that. And they must just detect very minute presses either side of them. So as the system is sandwiched between these plates, when you place something on there, there's a, a kind of a sandwiching effect and they detect that. That's quite interesting. I thought there would be some sort of more of a moving mechanism, like a lever, but I guess to be super accurate, a bit like the scales I've opened, there's not really any moving parts, but it detects these very micro pressures. Probably why there's holes in here, perhaps. That's really peculiar. Kind of cool though. Um, can we tidy this up? You can see the wires there. They are super tiny wires going into this board. And I guess from there, the system can extrapolate what it sees and turn that into the various weight figures. Not 
really seeing much in the way of information, but there are pads either side. I seem to have a pad here and one here. So perhaps it detects changes between those two and and those two. They seem to be identical either side. And it must just detect the pressures, you know, the weights. Interesting. It's like a block of um, aluminium, I guess. It's quite light. Two screws on one side and two on the other. Sandwiched between these two pieces, top and bottom. And then between them, it can work out weights. And it went together, I think, like that. So there's the, the sensor. Obviously, uh, it was sandwiched in between. There we go, so... Probably like that, I think. That was the bottom. This sandwich is on the top. And then the flex, I guess, the flex between these two metal pieces, it can detect on here. How peculiar. So it's like a sandwich design. There we go. So it was like that, wasn't it? Took this piece off. And then remove that. Pretty cool. Well, there was more in there than I thought, but unfortunately I didn't really work out what was wrong with that. I think it is just uh, it's aged. So, not repairable. Nothing much in here, just a little battery circuit. Remove the cell, of course. We'll keep that for next item. And there's our board. What's it got on there? Transtech? Transtech. Hmm. A couple of switches. There we go. Transtech 2016. Cool. And there's our LCD, of course. Standard thing, a bit like a calculator where it links using that rubber pad and that interfaces onto this circuit here. These kind of pieces, and it even says, Look, display one. So neat! So there we go. Thanks for watching, that was quite interesting. Um, this is obviously some sort of weight sensing module, so an interesting design.